Welcome to the eighth oldest stadium in the country, Vaught Hemingway in Oxford, Mississippi, home of the Ole Miss Rebels, where the fans never lose a tailgate and don't plan on losing the game today. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs taking on the 20th ranked team in the land, the Ole Miss Rebels. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Georgia likely to kick it deep to get things started. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And he loses the ball deep in his own end. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. Fires into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Well, it looked like that might be the first touchdown of the game, but what a great job by the defender, seeing the football and swatting it away. Now on second down after the incompletion. On the run, it's Etienne. <laughs> Plows ahead for a pickup of four down to the 14. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Back to throw, it's back. Looking for the score! To the end zone, and it's picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. All right, I know it's early, but it's just one drive, right? You got, you got to put this behind you. It isn't how you wanted to open up. It isn't how you wanted to start. This offense has got to go to the sidelines, get with the coach, settle down, and figure out the game plan for the rest of the game. A long way to go for this offense. They'll run it from the gun. Pushes forward for three out to the 13. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. And the Rebels want to crank the tempo. He's looking for a man on second down. Grab behind the line. It's Harris. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. Third down coming up after the completion. From the gun, running back on the move. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Line gets set, first down. Quickly complete. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. And here comes the offense on second down. To the air, it's Beck. Fires to the wide out. Got him downfield. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. 
Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Got it behind the line. It's dealt. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, nice job by the defense. That's what you're supposed to do. As soon as they catch the football, you want to limit that yards after the catch. And he went nowhere after the catch. Nice job by the defense. Let's see what they've got on second down. From the gun, the running back has it. Plows ahead for a pickup of four down to the 14. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Snagged in the middle. It's love it. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. Man, and that's just making it way too easy on the defense. They're laughing at that short. Run. They're like, really? Okay, we'll just make an easy tackle, jog our punt return team out on the field. We're going to make it that easy for us. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. And the try is no good. And after the miss, guys, the score stays right where it is. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. They'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. The Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. Off play action. Catch in the middle, it's Harris. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. Offenses are doing such a great job now with so putting so many wide receivers on the field that they get good matchups and they just attack you to make big plays. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. to throw. It's Dart. Looking to the big tight end. Makes a connection. The expressway is wide open. Touchdown Oh Miss! Reeled it in and just made the house call. And you can tell he trusts his big tight end. Airing the football way down the field. Treat him like a wide receiver because you know he's going to go up, make the big play, get you in the end zone, score a touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish the drive with a 64-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. The give to the tailback. Runs through a tackle. Navigates that mass of bodies and gets four out to the 17. That's a really nice play. It's impressive. Well, it's first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. 
Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Third and ten, still back up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Back to pass, it's back. Shoots it to the left. And this senior quarterback a little too bold there, and he's lucky he didn't get picked off throwing into double coverage. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters, and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. Georgia sends out the punt team. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. And the Rebels will hustle to the line. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Lee. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Well, when you're running the drag route against man coverage like that, as a quarterback, you've got to put the ball out in front of your target. And when you do that, you give the guy a chance to then advance the football up the field, pick up a first down like they did right there. Using his legs, it's Parrish. Keeps the legs moving. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. They'll give it to him again. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. After picking up a couple at second and eight. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Going up top on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Harris. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. Now on second down. To the air, it's Dart. Got his man quickly. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I, mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Grabbed in the middle. It's Lee. And he was knocked down immediately short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. Hey, really nice job on defense, too. Understanding the situation. It's third down. We're fine giving up completions right there. But we're not giving up the first down. We're keeping the football and the ball carrier in front of us. And we're tackling the catch. Awesome job. And now you've set up fourth down. The completion well past the sticks. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. 
Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He can just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide on these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. To the air. It's dark. Got it. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. Yeah, this defense is going to have to have a plan for this tight end, especially when he lines up in the slot, because there's a lot of different routes he can run. And because of his size and his wingspan, he's very, very difficult to cover. And they've been able to get within two yards. Now will they try to throw it in for the score? And look, this guy has some serious moves, and he tried all of them and still didn't get loose. Man, it has been a long drive offensively. I just feel like you got to pay this off and be aggressive. You're down close. Punch it in for a touchdown here, Pollock. Yeah, and inside the three-yard line, I think I might try to finish this off with a touchdown. I ate up a ton of clock, wore these guys out. Now they'd have to go the length of the field if I missed. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Rebels! And how about this offense? A big situation on fourth and goal, and you trust your running back. You trust your offensive line. You trust the physicality of this unit, and they reward that trust, and they punch it in for six. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Dropping back, it's back. Right down the middle. He's got it. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. To the air on first down. A strike downfield. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Turning to the running game on first and goal. 
and he'll pick up a few yards before he's dragged down, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal to go situations, Palmer. You've got to get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. You don't want to take a sack, lose extra yardage here. Just be smart with the football. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. And he'll try it from the right hash, and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. That is no good. Guys, the missed field goal and nothing changes. Still a 14-point game. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you wanted. I mean, the offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. The Rebels are in the hurry-up. Takes the handoff. It's Parrish. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Being able to make in the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Dropping back. It's Dart. Oh, he drops it right down the middle of the field, and he couldn't make the play. They're trying to get the receiver on a drag route and work him through all the bodies in traffic, but there's just too much happening. I don't think he saw the throw real well, and it falls incomplete. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. They've got the screen set up. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And nobody able to handle that punt. They'll let it bounce and roll out of bounds. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. The lead's not insurmountable just down 14-0. But, David, you don't score here, and it could get a little tricky fast. If you don't score here, if you don't possess the football and put something together to give your defense a little bit of a blow, it's not the ideal start. But it ain't like this game's late in the football game. Create some momentum here in the second quarter. Yeah, momentum's a real thing in college football. This team needs the juju to get going. That first quarter is one they'd love to forget. So find your best playmakers now. Get them isolated. Get them the football and let them go to work. Pushes forward for a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the eight. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground. Short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. Looking downfield, it's Beck. Fires one high and deep. 
And this will be caught at the 30. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And man, what a game-changing tight play. The offense throwing the football deep in their own end, and they're probably thinking to themselves, hey, let's just get some more space. Let's try to get a first down and give ourselves room to work with. What an individual effort by the receiver after he had the ball in his hand, taking it all the way coast to coast on that touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score coming on a scintillating 92-yard pass for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Coming out with it, it's Davis. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. After that one, not quite so backed up as they're up to the 18-yard line. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. This receiver is such a weapon, and he has so much speed, and he can generate explosive plays for your offense, not just running go routes and post routes, but how about throwing him the drag, letting him catch it, and use his speed to turn it upfield. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Throws to the wide out. Wide open downfield. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Now the play fake. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. And that guy is just a man. I mean, he sets the tone in this defense, and you saw it on that play right there. Reminds me a lot of the guy standing beside me, David Pollock, who really set the bar for great D-line play at Georgia. I think back to two guys I played against, Richard Seymour and Marcus Stroud lining up beside each other on the inside of that D-line. That was an absolute nightmare to go up against. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. Holes and fires it complete to the right. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. And the Rebels want to move quickly. Looking to throw, it's Dart. Fires to the right. And they can't make the play on third down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. The Rebels will punt it away on fourth down. Making sure there's no return on that one as the punt sails out of bounds. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. It's complete. A huge pickup. Can anyone catch it? Touchdown, dogs! And 
once he got loose, it was all over. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. Getting set for the point after. And it's up and good. That one's going to get a little star marked beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. From the gun, the ground game. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. The counter play is a great play to mix in because defensively, you're, you're not looking for the counter. You're looking to attack, attack, attack. All of a sudden, two guys pull across the formation. Now you've got to change your direction really quickly, and it keeps you off balance and really keeps you on your heels. Off the play fake. Moves away as he feels pressure. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. You know, one of the tricky parts with play action for a quarterback is that when you turn your back to the defense to sell the play fake, you have no idea what's going on behind you. You don't know what the coverage has become, and you don't know which D linemen have won their one-on-ones. The worst thing is you turn around after the play fake, and bam, that defender's right in your face. To the air, it's dark. Makes the grab down the middle. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. Man, this quarterback is having a first half. He's over 200 yards already, heating up, setting up. Dude, this dude might break his career high in passing. I don't know what it is. Somebody get stats for him. And the Rebels want to pick up the tempo. The give out of the gun. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. The offense in hurry up mode. He'll keep it himself. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. The Rebels will bring the punt team onto the field. On the move, it's Evans. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just find a way to get these guys the ball in space. And you already started, man. Making that big play, opening up this offense. This quarterback is feeling good about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it right back to him. And now on second down for this offense. Scanning the field, it's back. Using the quick game. 
He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Off play action on first down. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. This is a good sign for this defense. The rate they were going, not touching the quarterback, him already having two touchdown passes in the first half, this was not going to be a fun football game to watch. Now they're turning the tide a little bit, getting a little bit of pressure, getting a sack. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. It'll be a draw. He was not going to be denied, discarding tacklers, running behind his pads, and finally down at the 40. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. you got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. And those outside linebackers nowadays, they're so fast. They got to cover ground. But you can blitz them off the edge, and they can get after quarterbacks. Versatile. That's why they're getting drafted so high in the NFL and getting paid all that money. Georgia lining up to punt it away. They'll look to pin them deep. Good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front at the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punter. On the ground, it's Parrish. This has been happening all night. They stubbornly keep giving him the ball, and the defense is all over him. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. The clock has stopped, and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. The give to the left side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Well, they're just trying to run the ball, but that time there was absolutely nowhere for the running back to go, and as a result, that's a tackle for loss. All kinds of heat on that punter. Good job just to get it out of there without disaster. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Man, and that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And I'll tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. Looking for a man. It's dark. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. They're at their fastest tempo trying to get off this third down play.
They'll try to get the first through the air. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. Well, they tried to catch the defense napping. They're third and short on their own side of the 50, and everyone's thinking run. They go past, but the defense wasn't fooled, so the QBs just got to throw that one away. And the Rebels decide to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Off the play fake on first down. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Offense gets set for second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. The short hands, it's Bell. Offense calls a timeout here, critically important to make sure they have the right play called and everyone on the same page here. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. He'll loft one deep down the left side. He's got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. And yeah, we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage. Defenses are going to have to get something figured out. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes courtesy of the big play, covering 61 yards on the touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Dropping back, it's Dart. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Flying out to the left. Slippery slide, find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, all Miss. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. On to attempt the try. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish the drive with a 64-yard scoring toss. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. He'll start this drive firing. Got it in the middle. It's dealt. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. 
Hey, we're getting close to halftime, and it looks as if the big fella wants to be all over the highlights. Goodness gracious, he, he is open. When he leaves the huddle, apparently he's open. A ton of catches already early in this ballgame. They are featuring him and finding him. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with... Going to take a shot. It's incomplete, and they tried to finish this quarter with a bang and couldn't quite connect. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, thanks, guys. You've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far in Oxford today. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, Let's head back to the Grove at our fellas at Vaught Hemingway Stadium. The Rebels will kick it off to start the second half. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open. Couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. Fire it's second down. Looking to throw its back. Gets it out fast. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. He'll take that completion. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. They keep attacking through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's Bell. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Third down, a lot of times, it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open. Who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. On the move, it's ETN. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game.
Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking to pass. It's back. Looking left. Holds it in. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And on that last play, he's now over 400 yards passing. Well, Reese, if you're going to throw for over 400 bills, you got to spread the praise around. Up front, they've done an outstanding job protecting this quarterback, and his receivers have been winning one-on-one. -on -one. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. They'll go to the ground. Able to get one down to the 15. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Caught in the backfield. It's Bell. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. The Dogs have it in scoring position on first and goal. On the ground. Touchdown, Bulldogs! An epic comeback. They'll talk about this one forever if they can hold on, but they're on top right now. This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it a 28-21 score. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it out. It's Davis. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Back to the ground with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps, everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. Gives it to the back on the draw. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. The Rebels will try to pin them back with the punt. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Return's going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit forcing that incompletion. And the incompletion brings up a second down. Give to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Looking for a man. It's back. Gets it out quickly. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. After the first down completion, it's second and short. They'll run play action. Unloads to the wide out. He makes a catch. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. If you're going to attack and have success against man coverage, then you've got to have great timing between the quarterback and the wide receiver. Really nice rapport. You could tell these two have been spending a lot of time this offseason throwing to one another. They'll go to the air. And the running back made the catch along the sidelines, but he drifted out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. You know, as a quarterback, you have to be so precise and accurate when you're throwing to your running backs, right? They're not used to making acrobatic, awkward body catches. That time, nice job reeling it in. Just couldn't keep his feet down in bed. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, dogs! They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They covered half the field with a 50-yard touchdown drive and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. They're lining up to boot it away. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. He's got it on the right. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. And the Rebels come to the line in the hurry up. Wants to throw on first down. On target to the left. A quick tackle made, but he's got ready for the first down. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. Back to throw. It's dark. Snags it over the middle. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. 
It's hard to have success on wide receiver screens when you're facing press man coverage because your blockers out front oftentimes can't pick them up, and that receiver gets gobbled up as soon as he catches the pass. You saw it on that last play. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Running back searching for a hole. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And money down is where you see defenses really understand where the sticks are, play great pass defense, know what's coming, and get off the field. The Rebels will call on their punt team. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Lovett. It. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. And at this point, the defense looks as if they've been in one of those dizzy bat races. They've got no idea where the ball's coming from. He's over 500 yards passing. Yeah, this is a Heisman Trophy level performance from this guy. The accuracy, the decision making, the athleticism, everything has been on display. Finds his man. It's dealt. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on the board. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Holds and fires complete to the right. Tackled, but he has a first down. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. And the dogs come to the line with a new set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He's going to fire deep. Touchdown, Georgia! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. This dude is absolutely taking a flamethrower to this secondary, torching everybody in sight. So find something different, right? Like double team him, do whatever it takes to not let that guy beat you. He's just consistently being the one that's destroying you. You got to find a way to make somebody else work, make somebody else beat you. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the finisher coming courtesy of that touchdown toss from 45 yards out. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it falls incomplete, and the offense is lucky to have it. Defender right there almost had it in his grasp. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard game.
And the Rebels headed quickly to the line. On third down, going up top. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Harris. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. Now, and a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. The Rebels line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. On the return, it's Evans. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. Back to work on second and 10 from the 41 after that last incompletion. Back to throw, it's back. He finds his man. That'll be a gain of about seven, leaves him with third and three. Hey, and quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Just this side of midfield, the defense trying to rise up on third and short from the 49. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. And most importantly, they got the first. They've been getting pushed around up front this game and haven't created a lot of lanes to run the football, but you needed it. You needed that first down. You needed to get the sticks moving. You need to run some clocks. So good job by the offense finding a little bit of space to get the first down. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. They'll have it at the 49, just across midfield, first and 10. They're going to ride this running back. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And when those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Handoff from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that run. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. He wants to throw. That's reeled in. It's Wells. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. Caught behind the line. It's Harris. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Screen pass just not working there. You figure at this point of the game, trailing, you're going to have to be more aggressive and take some shots. You usually run screen passes when you think there's going to be a blitz, but because the defense has the lead, they're just sitting back and playing big zones. And the Rebels in the hurry up. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker. You could tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chases him down. Gets to him. Not only gets to him. Doesn't let him break a tackle. Gets him on the ground. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. And it's incomplete. A missed opportunity for the offense. Offense set on first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Looking to the big tight end. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. Here they come to try it again on second and 10 from the 29. Looking to throw, it's back. Zings it complete to the right. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Quick strike complete. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit. Visualizing the right ball flight from 39 yards out in the right hash. It's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner goes down. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. We'll see if that failed fourth down in their own end last time, David, sort of curbed some of the aggressiveness. When he makes a catch on the right side. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. Starting a drive like that really builds confidence. First down from the 45. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. Wants to throw. It's dark. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. Touchdown, Rebels! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. And I love the decision by the quarterback finding his playmaker, getting him the football quickly so that he can make something happen after the play and get six. Why not double the try total and go for two? 
Wants to go up top. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. Well, head coach obviously decided it was best to go for two points right there. They didn't get it, and you just wonder if chasing the points is going to hurt this team later in the game. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They go right back to it. Running with power. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Hand off from the shotgun. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. Georgia sends out the punt team. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Fires to the wideout. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Back to pass. It's Dart. Bought a little time. Let's it go. This time, he's got his man. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. And now he's in the 400 club, 400. It's a pretty good day at the office when you're putting up over 400 yards. This defense hadn't had a lot of answers. The Rebels want to crank the tempo. Looking to move it through the air. Quarterback adapted. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. This quarterback has been under duress all game long. He's one of the best in the country, and he's used to having his way. He's the one who's used to dictating to opposing defenses, but that has not been the case in this game. Here we are late. He's still under pressure, taking a sack there. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller and certainly if you're the quarterback that you're going to have time to throw. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. You've got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. On fourth down, they'll throw for it. He hurls one deep down the left side. The incomplete pass ends a frustrating series, and they turn it over on downs. They move the tight end all over. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine.
Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Try and play action. He lobs one high down the left side. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. Now facing a third and long. He'll do it himself. Strong belief in this running game as he powers his way ahead and picks up eight. It's fourth and one. This defense really has their hands full, guys. They got to play with great eye discipline because they don't know who's going to be keeping the football in the run game. And that time, you saw the QB. He was able to kind of skirt his way to get some positive yards. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. Oh, the attempt is no good. And after the miss, fellas, still sitting on an 18-point lead. And you gotta wonder about the confidence of this kid. It's been up and down, one for four now in this game, kicking after that miss. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again here. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for you. And the Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking downfield, it's dark. Fires to the big fella. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. He'll pull it on the read. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Well, he chews up yards, doesn't he? That, that was really quick, really decisive. Design quarterback runs are, are very difficult to stop, and you could tell he's got some ability to make big plays. And thank goodness they got him on the ground, and it wasn't a bigger play than it could have been. They'll test the right side. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Looking to go up top on first down. Trying to get to him. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. He's looking to throw. It's complete. And he's brought down after a nice game. And let that thing rip. How about this guy? Almost 450 yards on the day. He's been throwing it early. He's been throwing it often. He's been throwing it all over the yard and with a lot of success. The Rebels with the first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Watkins. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed? After he made his break, he was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. Back to throw. It's dart. Fires into the end zone. And the ball is intercepted. 
Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. End of the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. And with a lead like they have here in the fourth quarter, no question this offense is going to continue trying to pound the rock. They're going to run the football and try to ice this game. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. This offense has a second down play. He'll keep it himself. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. A third and long coming up here. Leaves it with the back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Georgia lining up to punt it away. Bringing it back, it's Davis. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positives. Well, this might be an opportunity, too, Reese, to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working. There weren't a lot, obviously, David, but maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook a little bit. I was going to say, there's not a lot of good to go back to. That would be a quick film session because there was more negatives than positives. But when you look at this, this week you've got a week to figure it out, figure out what your offense is going to be moving forward. They get the timeout called. 11 seconds remaining to play. Line getting set on second down. To the air. It's dark. Feeling some heat. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long, under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. On third down, he drops to throw. Pressure coming. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. They get the timeout, and the clock reads three seconds. And the Rebels will punt this one away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. They bring him down. Strong effort by the coverage team, and that's how they'll put a period on this one. <laughs> 